hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Eileen thank you all for joining me today yes I did share a video showing you that I was wrapping up my craft room but I do still have some items that are you know still trickling in from orders from the beginning of the month <clears throat> but this one is a recent purchase and it's a haul from crafty from my crafty boutique and that's Louisa and her shop is on Instagram. You just uh, direct message her or comment in her um, on the photos that she has that she'll be posting for sale. She'll have it in the description box on her IG if things are for sale or if they're sold. So just comment if you want it. Um, this particular haul, she only had two kits and I told her from the get go that I wanted this kit. So this is like again I said before this is the kit and it's a great starter kit if you guys are like wanting to get into junk journals and um, stuff like that this is going to be perfect to go with uh, the previous kit that she shared with the design team uh, tea with Teddy so let me put this here you can see her info so the kit comes with a bunch of embellishments. That's why I was saying it's a great starter kit. Look at how gorgeous this is. This little um, lace rose that she's got here with the little pearl in the center. Um, you get a whole bunch of flowers as part of the kit. You got the pinks, the blues, puffy little rose right there too. You got some white ones in the back. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then she also includes trim and um, fabric in this collection. And this kit is like a folio kit. And she's shared um, what you could create with it on her YouTube channel. <clears throat> she did make three. She used one and I purchased one. And you guys, there's so much that comes with this collection. I was just afraid to undo this gorgeousness but look at this you get a pretty good length of um pearl you get about yeah 18 inches of pearl trim that is gorgeous and you've got a bunch of doilies how pretty is that pin it's just a, a pearl with a bead cap through a pin um yeah that is gorgeous you got doilies, you've got lace heart trim, and then you've got these little floofy <laughs> flowers. How pretty! You get three of those, and then you also get a bunch of this. Oh my god, Louisa, this is so much! Wow, you've got ribbon, you've got bling trim. You've got lace trim. This has iridescent in it. This iridescent, you see it? It's sparkly. That's pink. You've got more lace. Oh my gosh. It's a good um, weight to it. So pretty. Look at the details on this. And it's like an off-white or taupey colors. And then this one is a white white, like a bone white. And you've got some tassel trims. How cute. And she said you just pull off the string at the bottom and then fluff up the tassels. It's a good length of them. I think you get 18 inches of all of these trims, same as the pearl length. Look at that. And then you've got some of this, just fabric ribbon. And then that's the end of that. Oh my God, that is so much so much you get so much trim and then you've got this like um cheesecloth color what is this called like brown tan taupe and then you got this um burlap piece of trim that's fun 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 texture and then you get a good amount of this elastic uh, stretchy um lace fabric see it's stretch that is so pretty. She gave me some mint in the last kit that I I got from the design team. That was some fun fabric to play with. Okay. 
this is a bunch of trim oh my gosh so much to play with you guys i can't i can't even express how much is it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous collection of trim wow and i'm just going to stick this on here like she had it and leave this off to the side you also get this one right here it's a bag of doodads <laughs> oh my gosh oh nice you get some wood veneers and some flat backs you got some buttons Ooh, some blingy blings oh look at this bead with the pearl oh my gosh ready to go and then you also get an earring how cute so you just take the earring part off and it becomes a dangle charm look at that that's a great idea right there how simple is that and it's so pretty you get some um, paper clips binder clips and these are i think she said these are plastic so you get the gear hearts and a clock it's a button and some wood veneers you got so much in here. Wow. Look at that. That is some laser cuts. These are Dollar Tree, I believe. Some of these. Some of these. Not all. I, I'm probably wrong, but I think that's where she said she got them. But you can paint them. You can glitter them. Look at that bling. Wow. It's lightweight, too. So great addition to your junk journal without adding all the weight. That is so cute. You get another paper clip. And you got a bunch of these little doohickeys. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Flat back pearls. Some flat back cabochon thingies. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. What a great um, combination. Look at that. I have some of these. She shared some with me. Um, there's some more bling. Wow it's a plethora and then this giant blingy bling look at that oh my gosh this is so much wow you get a key you get another blingy bling and you get a tag wow so much so much goodies let me put this in my whoops put the, whoops just falling out everywhere <laughs> Wow, and then you also get the bag that you can embellish, alter, add to your junk journal. This is amazing. Wow, that's a lot in this thing. What? That goes a long, long way. So you also get that. And now we get into the paper ephemera. Oh, this is what I'm excited for. A buttload of, a buttload. <laughs> A whole bunch of tags and um, stamps and they're not I don't believe they're real stamps I think they're yeah they're printed so you see that what a great idea so if you had like some stamps from friends put them in your copying machine or your printer thing scan them oh wow look at these you've got so much to play with Wow and the colors, I love the color variations. How cool are these? Look at that one. And you've got the postage mark on there, the um, postage paid stamps on there. Look at that. Look at this one. And now they're all digitals, guys. I mean, you can buy them or you could just buy this collection. And I think there's, so now there's only one of them left available, hopefully. It's there in her shop. If you're interested, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. And then you got these paper tags. This is amazing. What an amazing collection. And then you've got some of these right here. And I think she said she got these in her digital, her digital, digital collection. Like so many of these. You've got butterflies, how cute. And you've got floral, oh my gosh, yes, girl, yes. Oh my gosh, this would look so adorable in the junk journals. Oh, look at those, 
Look at those. Wow. All right. So you get all of this digital printouts for the kit. Look at this. So you get a doily. You've got a, t a gold tag. You've got some tickets. Nice. She's got a little bit of distressing on there. You've got more tags. These are digitals, guys. Oh, wow. These are labels. That's cool. Yes. And, you know, she already printed it. So you don't have to buy digitals to print these out. So the work is done for you. Look at this. It's like an old playing card. Yes. And then these are frames. Wow. More frames. You've got different styles of frames here. Wow. I hope this phone is staying focused. Look at that label. More frame. Oh, this is what I love. The library card with all the stamps. I love that. And then you've got the writing on there. How fun is that? And they're single sided because they're digital. So look at that laser or not laser cut, but cut perfect. And then an envelope. You've got more envelopes with stamps on there already. Look at that. Postage canceled. You got a bingo card. That's so cool. Postcards. These are all single-sided, guys. So, so much fun to play with. To get, um, back these on some um, pattern paper or co uh, colored paper. Or just leave it plain and just do your journaling. But look at the music notes. Oh, my gosh. And this little notebook. How cute. Is it upside down? Either way. Still cute. <laughs> I think she made these. That's cool. She um used the what's that thing called? Um mist thing spray. Cute. These are so cute. Wow. I think she printed both sides on this one. Yep. And then she just cut them. That is so cool. Or she might have purchased. I don't know. I don't know. But they're adorable. Look at that. Look at this paper. So somebody distressed the paper, aged it, scanned it, printed it out, <laughs> sold it as a digital. That is so cool. What a great idea. And then she's got some um, book pages from her thrift store finds. Look at the aging on this. You cannot replicate that. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Double-sided. I might have to scan these. <laughs> now I might have to scan these. This is Hamlet. Wow. I might have to scan these, Louisa, and use them. And use them and use them and use them. <laughs> oh, she included some stickers. Wow. I think I have this one, but I don't have this one. That's cool. And then these are like, you know, the um, for the spine of the book. You could put those on the... The spine you could put these on your corners for your book that is so cool wow you got so much in this kit oh my gosh you guys if you want it you better go get it because there's only one left in her shop <laughs> okay let me put these in what a gorgeous collection of papers to use I'm a paper lover. Anything paper. I don't know why. I don't know where it comes from. But that is what I do love. And if you haven't seen my craft room. Ugh, there's so much paper in my room. I fear for the packer. <laughs> who has to wrap up my room. Okay. And then the last part. This one is the digital printouts of the bigger pattern papers. And the folio is already like folded for you. She already created the folio. And then you just decorate it however you wish. This is another digital. Look at how much detail you get still on a digital. And then she's got some envelope pockets and, you know, um, that thing, coin, coin envelopes. 
A larger doily. That is cute. I don't have any like that. She's got some um, distressed paper, dyed paper. That's cute. This looks like music notes. I mean, music paper. Um, I'm saying that because I had to use some like that for um, when I was in band. You literally have to write your own music. <laughs> um, this is wrapping paper. Wow. That is a crazy texture. Look at the ridges on that. But you get a good piece of wrapping paper. That is going to be nice to tear into. There's the folio. I'm going to get into that in a minute, but I'm going to share the paper. So she printed some digitals on her, uh, on the vellum. Look at that. That is beautiful. Bingo card. I love it. It's a lot of the things that she already included in the collection. So pretty. That is so pretty. I love it. Love it, love it. And then here are some more of the, I think this is digital. She created this one on digital. Yeah. Is this vellum also? This feels different from regular paper. So got two of those. And then there's some more vellum. I think this is vellum or just regular printer paper. I'm not sure, but it doesn't feel like printer paper. And it's so cool. I love the music notes. There's music notes in there. Then this is cardstock, printable cardstock. I believe this is the Walmart cardstock. Look at the pattern on this. It's so delicate, it's so pretty. And I love the distressing. And then here's a more um, brighter, more intense color. That is nice. I think this is one of her digital collections, guys. Um, she's not selling digitals right now as far as, you know, down to download and print yourself. But she will be selling kits and she'll probably be using, using up some of her digital collections. So you might want to message her. She may or may not be able to sell them to you. I'm not going to guarantee anything. But these, I think, is her digital papers that she created. And look at the herringbone pattern there. This last one, the window, how cute. All right, guys, so that is it for this beautiful collection. If you're interested, oh no, here's the folio. So her folio, it's got the gusset, the spine right here. And they've got um, a little bit of spines on this side here. So you get two rooms. And then she opens up like this and then opens again. She's created stuff with this already, the same folio layout. And it's one large, um, ooh, I like that. So I would close it both the same way so I wouldn't get confused. I wouldn't confuse myself and leave it like that. But that is, the, that is really it. Super easy. And she had so many flaps and added pockets and extras to... Um, play with in the folio so you guys if you're interested please go check her out and um let her know you you want to purchase the last kit it's one kit left so thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the next video let me pull her video her card out one more time so you can see it there you go i'll see you all on the next video thanks for watching